back on uh, working out some geometry issues on the uh, saddle and um, what I've done I didn't film any of it but uh, the back side of the saddle here I've scraped that flat I uh, I tipped it about um, two thou over this distance here so uh, it's about three or four to one so about five tenths or so on uh, the back side to get this 90 degrees to the back so that's good now and then um, I just barely got it flattened out just to check it because I've also been noticing as I was measuring that I have in this fixed way here I have about three thou um, of a of an angle at three thou across that whole uh, length there it's plus three thou at this end so when I run the indicator across here using this surface which is flat and straight um, I'm seeing about three thou and what I've done just just now is um, What I've done is I've just put a uh, 3 thou shim underneath the corner here and I'm getting basically zero, 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 0 across here when I run this distance here so um, that's kind of a confirmation that uh, taking 3 thou off of this end down here will give me the same results um, but at this point what I want to check is the other direction because um, I want this way this is a fixed way for the uh, table and I want the fixed way that will run across the knee these have to be perpendicular to one another so that as you move the table in an X and a Y direction uh, they're moving 90 degrees to one another so I'm going to set up and uh, check um, check the guiding way for the saddle as it attaches to the knee so this is the setup that I use. Um, this this block here has um, some uh, uh, turned cylinders on it that I can use, and this this side here, this back side is ground flat, and and everything is uh, perpendicular here. So I use the ground uh, cylinders to run up against the um, the fixed way, and um, what I can get from that is up against compared to the cylindrical square how is the fixed way of the part tracking and um, so it takes a little bit of finagling for how I have to hold this thing and, and slide it up and down but uh, so what I'm seeing with the 3000 shim underneath of the uh, saddle at the far end simulating me taking the 3 thou off of this end um, I'm actually uh, looks like this this way is tracking nice as well so um, I've checked this a couple three different ways now and everything is lining up that I need to uh, put uh, or take about 3 thou um, across the back side of the saddle, take three thou off of one side, and then taper the whole back side, which will put um, the back side of the saddle perpendicular and parallel to the back of the table when it's all installed. And again, so the back of the saddle on its own may not need to be flat, perpendicular, parallel, all those things, but. Um, if I ever want to use it as a reference in the future and then also I use it as a uh, I will be using it as a reference as I start to uh, qualify the saddle and the table together so I've laid out on the uh, back of the saddle here and you can see I've got a little fixture I built up and it's just a couple of uh, it bolts to where the yoke would bolt to and it's got a couple of wings on it and a couple of uprights because the front of the table has got an angle on it and very little flat surface so I've got uh, 
get it good and sturdy here I can set it on this face and um, holds pretty sturdy there uh, when I'm scraping I clamp it to the table uh, just to make sure I don't want to drop it at this point and so you can see I need, I'm plus three thou down at this end and we verified that by putting a shim down at this end and we getting zero zero that way so um, and this is just purely experience at this point but I'm gonna try and uh, get that three thou by scraping I divided this surface up into six uh, quadrants and I'm gonna start down at this end in this direction and then every time I'll add one more quadrant to the whole scraping cycle which ends up when I'm all said and done this this last pass will be in this direction here and I'm gonna try and hold this this end out here at zero and get close to taking three thou off down at this end and then um, Obviously, I'm, as I scrape it, I'm going to try and keep it flat because this surface here is 90 degrees to the top of the saddle. So I want to try and keep that. I mean, I can adjust that later, um, but I need both things. I need to get this 3 thou and have this perpendicular to the top of the saddle all at the same time. And then start working. Um, I guess in this case, I don't have to. So normally as you're scraping away as you get geometry then you have to start making sure you get bearing quality and surface finish and all that stuff in as well as the geometry this guy here for the back of the saddle is going to be oh i don't know five or ten points per square inch really just just making sure it's flat and that i can use it as a reference so <clears throat> Getting started on the step scraping to take that three thou out of the back of this saddle here, and you can see this here. I've done uh, this is two passes, the small section, and then doubled up that section, going the opposite direction. You can see the different finishes here. Um, this is just roughing. This here I was actually spotting just to make sure this was flat to measure it again for perpendicularity. Um, so that's why that finish looks different but um, at this point I'm going to keep going about uh, two-thirds of the way there and uh, uh, the next pass would be back this way here up to this line here I've just finished um, step scraping the back side of the saddle 
and uh, I haven't even spotted it. I just wanted to throw it up here and see how close, uh, see how close I got on my uh, guesstimation. And um, so I've got the indicator zeroed down here at the. I guess that would be the left-hand side as the uh, as the saddle sits on the machine. And it looks like uh, sorry about that. Well, it's it's pretty hard to get on the camera here, but. Uh, I'm going to stick your head in there so you can see it. Hopefully it's in focus. So it looks like it looks like it's just over just over the thou. And uh like I said I haven't even spotted it yet. So as I uh as I spot it, I'll look for opportunities to take more metal off down at this end. Um as I spot in for a flat surface. And then the other thing I've got to check too is did I lose the perpendicularity here, which I hope not, but uh, I got to check that. And again, same thing, I got to look for opportunities as I flatten out that back surface to get this perpendicular again. So I've set up with the uh, cylindrical square to check uh, perpendicularity. And. Um, about a half a thou plus on this top side so again as I start to get a try and get a flat surface on the back of the uh, saddle here I will take opportunities to remove metal um, at this end for the one thou that's still there and then um, along the along the bottom to tip this back as I go as well So at this point I've been uh, scraping the back and um, got what I think is a, a pretty good surface back there. It doesn't need to be bearing quality or anything like that. Um, just flat and perpendicular. And so I've been verifying this uh, fixed way on the back of the saddle which, was, uh, which will control the table. And um, so at this point I'm uh, pretty happy with the results here. So that's uh, basically zero zero across the whole length of the saddle. Trying to get a good shot of the back of this uh, saddle here. I've got the rouge, uh, jeweler's rouge on it, and I'm going to uh, spot it right now and see what it looks like. Pretty happy right now with the um, with the spotting and the the contact area here, as well as. Uh, the geometry that I just verified on the other on the fixed way side so um, I might just uh, give this this side just a once over just to uh, break this up just a touch more but uh, I'm pretty happy with it right now and uh, this is the results after uh, one more cycle there so I'm calling it done now.